hello welcome to this lesson of our study of you know complex analysis and in this lesson we just go through what we call harmonic functions okay all right so when it comes to harmonic functions and it's very very simple the definition is very simple i have it here which it says that a function is harmonic if it satisfies the laplace equation and then um the function could be you know one variable function but the laplace equation starts from a multivariate function that depends on two or more variables okay so i mean that a variable that number of variables the function should depend on should be two or more okay so it can be a three dependent um, a variable function which will be u of x y z but then in terms of our study we are going to stick to just x and y okay so especially in, in complex numbers okay oh sorry complex analysis as well so if you have not subscribed to the channel kindly subscribe okay all right so with this one i have this function here which is u of x y and then if this thing is true that the second derivative of u with respect to x in addition to the second derivative of u okay here is supposed to be u I have a v here this this shouldn't be a v it should be a u okay u here with respect to y okay if that one in addition when i sum them and it's equal to zero then it means the function is harmonic okay this is very simple all right so what happens in complex analysis now given that a function f equals u plus iv in in our complex analysis is analytic so we know that this is analytic and the functions u and v have continuous second order partial derivatives okay so the in other words they are partial derivatives that is the second order partial derivative or exists and they are continuous then okay u and v are harmonic okay so both u and v are harmonic conjugate to each other if that is the case so i mean that if i have f which is equal to u plus iv and and this f is analytic and secondly the um, second order partial derivative of both u and v do exist and they are continuous then what happens is that both u either u or v is harmonic and then i can say that when u is harmonic v is a harmonic conjugate of u and when also v is also harmonic u then is the harmonic conjugate of v okay so they they go for each other when you're talking about this this can be the other one can be the harmonic conjugate okay all right so let's pick an example on the harmonic functions and you will understand better okay now you have shown that u of x y okay so this one which is sorry really sorry you are saying that show that u of x y which is equal to this u of x y equals x times y is harmonic and find a harmonic conjugate for u okay so very simple okay u is actually equal to x y let me write it like this and we are supposed to show that this is harmonic meaning we are supposed to show that the second derivative the squared u del s squared plus del squared u the y squared is equal to zero okay so what you have to do is first find del u del x and that is equal to y okay this is the function we are differentiating this one I differentiate with respect to x for the first time get y and the squared u del s squared that's the second partial derivative with respect to x is zero because there's no x here again okay so we then go back to the other one and check for del u del y and that one is also equal to x this is my u when i differentiate with respect to y for the first time i get x now the squared u del y squared is also equal to zero because in the first partial derivative with respect to y we had only x and so if i differentiate x with respect to y i'll get zero i hope this is okay all right so 
let's add these two and see so um, we are trying to say that this is harmonic if when i sum this one okay and this one okay i'll get zero indeed zero plus zero is equal to zero so we have already shown that this is harmonic now when this is harmonic we remember that when one of the functions is harmonic conjugate to this one then it means the function is analytic okay so if this function is analytic there is there is the combination of this and its conjugate let me let me repeat that again the combination of this function which is harmonic and its conjugate will give us analytic function and so we assume that the conjugate form of u is let's say v so we assume that the combination of these two u plus i v will have to give us an analytic function then since we're giving u which is equal to x y as opposed to 5 v which will be the harmonic conjugate of u okay so to find this we know that this already this is um, analytic so we use the cauchy riemann equation okay if you remember i've taught this already the cauchy riemann equation which which is being written as this that del u when you have analytic find del u del x should be equal to del v okay del y and del u del y is equal to negative del v del x okay so these two equations are what we are coming to use now you have to just um remind yourself of what we call differential equations some more because we are going to use differential equations here to find rv okay our task here is to find the harmonic conjugate of u which is v so what we will do is since u is equal to x y okay first we find the u del x because we need we need the u del x and this is equal to y and we are saying is the same as what del v del y we need v but we have a differential equation including v okay and y and we know that del u del u del x in this case is also equal to and differentiate u with respect this u with respect to x you get y and if you are saying this is equal to negative del v del x okay this 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 one is here is right it's supposed to be y del u del y okay so now we've gotten two differential equations here now look at this we are looking for v already we know u and we look we are looking for v but we have two differential equations which contain both v and other sorry this part is also supposed to be del u del y is also supposed to be x rather it's supposed to be x it's not y i mean when you differentiate u with respect to y you get x okay so now with this one what you do is um very simple like that you just set two equations where you see that del v in the first differential del v del y is equal to y and this will give me equation one okay now with the second equation you know that del v del x okay or minus of it okay is equal to x and this is equation two so we pick these two equations and solve them using our knowledge in differential equations okay all right so first of all del v del y is equal to y okay and so if i solve this differential equation um, just del v with, with the method of separating of variables okay so i'll just separate the v and the y's okay so when i integrate both sides i'll get something like v of x y you know that v is a function of both x and y okay so v of x y is now equal to one over two okay y squared plus some constant and this is h of x because the function depends on both x and y and now if i've gotten a constant the constant can be just a normal constant or a function of x and when i pick a function of x the function of s can also include a constant so the proper the proper constant i should choose is a function of x okay all right so let's continue so this is it 
that is from the first equation okay now let's try to find our h h of x okay now let's def this this view i can also say that you know the view of x y i can just ignore that and say view is the same as 1 over 2 i squared plus h of x or h but we know that h depends on x okay so let me say h of x let me put it that way now since we know something like there's a differential function del v del x or minus of it is equal to x okay that is what we know okay so with this with this um, equation we can again say something like del v del x is equal to negative x okay now look at this we have a differential of x okay del v del x that is differential of v with respect to x giving us just only x or giving us something and here we want to find this equation or you want to find h and come and put it here h of x so you can use these two ideas these two equations always in harmony function this works okay so the idea you use here is that what you do is first of all differentiate the this differential equation after solving it what you got just differentiate with respect to the other variable you didn't do with okay i mean here we didn't, we didn't do with x because here we only solved with dy okay so the other one that contains x which is this one okay you come and differentiate this function with respect to the other variable here which is x okay so i differentiate the, the answer i go for the differential equation with respect to x and i'll get del v del x is equal to here i'm just differentiating the whole of this with respect to x when i differentiate half y squared with respect to s i'll get zero but when i differentiate h of s with respect to x i'll get h prime of x okay now compare this equation let, let me call this three and this one and this one okay the one of of covered with red this one you know that we have del v del x equals negative x and we also have del v del x equals h prime of x this will only be true if these two equations let's say this is equation four let's call this equation four only when these two equations are the same so when when they are the same it means that h prime of x is actually equal to negative x this is how you so this is actually an idea from exact differential equation okay you can actually solve it the other way around but um let's keep this okay let's take to one method okay so if h prime of x is equal to negative x then if i want to find s h prime of x means that the h the x that is what this means this is not a partial derivative because it just depends on x only is equal to that and if i want to solve this i have the h equals um minus x dx so when I differentiate both sides, which is, sorry, when I integrate both sides, I'll get h of x is equal to minus x squared over 2 plus some constant c. Okay, so it means this is our h of x. So you go back to the equation that has v equal to v being equal to 1 over 2 y squared plus h of x. Okay, our task is to find v. So you go back to that equation. And come and put our h of s there okay so the final answer is that our v of x y which is a harmonic conjugate of u is now equal to 1 over 2 y squared okay then plus h of s but h of s is this so i just write all of these here over 2 plus some constant c this is very very simple okay so you can compare this and the u of s that you have that u of x y is equal to x times y and you could see that these two functions are harmonic when sorry when you you combine them in a um, complex function okay you you see that they are actually analytic okay so this is your solution to the question that was given thank you and don't forget to subscribe to my channel in another discussion we talk about complex integration all right so stay tuned